Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video explains how to construct a 75 degree angle. Try it on your own first. Um, when you feel like you've tried enough, you could try my way. There's probably other ways. So if we create a random circle and then go from that circle on the edge back to the center, we can intersect those two circles. And then we could have a, a 60 degree angle from D to A to B. So we want to add 15 degrees onto that. Well, it's 60 degrees from B to A to C also. So if we could cut that in half twice, we could have 15. So let's go ahead and extend these, this line this line, cut those in half, cut the angle in half, bisect the angle. Oops, I don't need to create another circle. I can already intersect those two. And I can create a line there. I need to intersect the original circle with the line that I just made because that gives me two points that are equal distance from the center of this other circle, this circle. <clears throat> so I go back to the circle tool and I'm going to bisect a 30 degree angle and get a 15 degree angle. Intersect those guys, that circle and that circle. That's a good example why selecting the intersect tool is probably better than hovering over it because it, there's several things close there. <clears throat> Go ahead and draw a line from the center over there. Now, I can go ahead and measure my angle from D to the center. And that says 75 degrees. It's a little hard to see on the drawing, but up here on the left, fairly visible. It's a little hard to see. You might want to hide some things. Your hide, or you can just select these circles that you don't want to see. Who knows, maybe we do want to see that one. And there are some lines that we don't need. Might want to add one. If I select the arrow tool, then I can grab this B and I can make, no matter how large that circle, the original circle is, it's still 75 degrees, those two lines, so that construction is built correctly, so it stays that way. So that was constructing a 75 degree angle just using lines and circles.